Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new tutorial on Maya. So this time I was uh, want to introduce, introduce you uh, some kind of method to create uh, two wires uh, twisted along to each other um, side by side like and this tutorial is actually uh, it's like a short version of other tutorial that I've uh, watched in uh, YouTube and the reason I'm uh, uh, watch this tutorial is because earlier uh, yesterday I wanted to create something uh, I'll show you in just a moment um, I was starting to model the Tomorrowland stage and then um, I'll show you a better picture of it um here maybe no no not that well it's somewhere here give me a second to find it uh, no 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 okay this is the picture and as you can see maybe if i will zoom in um most of the doors here uh, using this uh, kind of uh, look, okay, all those doors entry is using this um, spiral twisted kind of wires and this is what I was intending to uh, achieve and add to my model. So um, let's see how we will create this. I will first uh, create a new scene and no, it's already been saved. So, as always, smooth wireframe just to see the, the work area better. And what we are going to do, we are going to uh, create uh, EP Curve tool. Okay, so click on this and switch to top view. And again, create EP Curve tool. Now, pay attention that I'm not using CV Curve tool, uh, only the EP Curve tool, okay? Um, you can do it with CV Curve tool, but uh, I'm not sure if it will work. So, let's start drawing a straight line, like here. See, I'm like trying to... Okay, I missed one cube here, but never mind. So, I was creating this line here, which you don't really see it but if I will hit enter to close the drawing uh, session you will see the line now the next thing to do is actually to uh, hold down the space bar and choose uh, rebuild okay first edit curve and hold down still yet, still yet uh, hold down the space bar and uh, select with your mouse uh, left mouse button this edit curve menu and choose rebuild curve and click on this cube and release okay so um, first um, when you get to this um, option box um, it's better to reset the setting and then we will need to uh, choose the zero to spans and to uh, choose the tangents and to decide how much uh, number of spans we want to add to this curve. So let's say 25 is enough and <coughs> click on rebuild. By the way, make sure that the curve is uh, been selected before you do this. Okay, so rebuild and now if I will right click on this, you will see that uh, you have 25. Uh, Okay, um, some kind of UV um, vertices or whatever. Okay, <coughs> and these are like uh, the 25 that we rebuilt. But before that, uh, I was creating this line from uh, I think five or six um, <coughs> points. So um, now we have <coughs> 25 and we want to create now a cube and let's tap on 5 to get the shade mode and I want to bring it here and right click on it and 
delete all the faces except this one, okay? So that will uh, give us only this face and tap on F8 once or twice to get back to object mode. Now go over modify and center the pivot for it, okay? Now we have uh, on this um, uh, EP curve uh, line we have uh, start point and end point. Now if you if I will zoom in to this area you can see that there is uh, this like empty square here and the U and all the rest are like filled uh, squares okay so the U will represent the start point uh, for this um, EP curve okay now as I told you it can be a uh, CV curve but still it will use the same uh, same uh, like method to explain this to you, but now we are want to um, use this U so as our start point. So what we are going to do? We are going to choose this face, and first maybe I will scale it like so, and I will right click on this EP curve and switch to move tool. Okay, and hold down the V letter on your keyboard. So when you hold it down, you can see that the square here will uh, turn into circle. Now, with your uh, middle wheel mouse uh, button, drag it and point it to this U. So that way, it will uh, attach this uh, this pivot of the face to this start point okay so it's actually snapping together those two points because uh, the pivot of our uh, of our uh, face is actually represented as like a vertice point so uh, which actually it's not but still it's this is how it acts so now we left to do is uh, choose our face shift select the EP curve line and choose um, from surfaces um, extrude here okay if you don't see the surfaces here it's because you are not in the surfaces menu All, uh, also you can use the polygon extrude it doesn't really uh, doesn't have any um, rule about it okay you can use both of them uh, now, um, we're going to uh, first um, count how many vertices point. Now, as you already uh, watched, um, I chose to rebuild this line from 25 uh, vertices points, like UV points or whatever. And now, we need to extrude this face along this path of our EP curve. Uh, at the same exact number so I'm going to write down here 20 type down 25 and extrude it okay so that way we have uh, the same exact uh, number of like divisions um, attached to each point on our EP curve okay uh, line now if I will switch to x-ray you can uh, some way see it okay I will try to oh sorry mm, need to choose this okay so now you can see this okay for each point we have a face and this is why uh, we need to use the same amount of uh, vertices point now you can see here that uh, we miss one phase, but it still created the same thi the the thing that we uh, wanted to, it to be created. Okay, now let's switch back to shade mode without the X-ray, and let's continue. Now I want you to tap on F8 once or twice and choose only the cube. Now from here, um, right click, choose Edge, and click twice on this edge so it will 
select all the edges along this path okay now go over modify convert and polygon edge to curve okay so it, what it does it's like uh, extracting this edge and make it convert it to uh, like the same EP curve we have here and with exact number of spans okay so we're going to do the same thing to the uh, other one in here so choose this edge uh, modify convert polygon edge to curve and now we have like three EP curves and what you need to do right now from here is actually uh, to hide this uh, polycube okay so click on uh, shift age I think no uh, control age or whatever just try to hide it okay control age or shift age or all the age I'm not sure how it's work uh, on Windows I don't remember but just try it now the next thing is uh, to create uh, NURBS primitive circle so click on this and this time we do use the interactive, uh, interactive uh, creation tool so I'm going to create some circle like this one okay and now switch to the select uh, tool and select the circle choose this uh, um, EP curve and go over surfaces surfaces here and choose to um, ex um, yeah I think extrude click on this and make sure that the settings for it um, reset them and make sure that uh, you click on add path and component okay and then click on extrude so that will give you this uh, pipe uh, along your curve here now we will do the same for this curve okay so click on the circle curve and choose this one shift choose this one and do the same extrude okay and now we have two different uh, pipes okay um, now the next thing is to open the outliner and choose your P cube here because this is the cube you uh, used at um, the beginning of this tutorial. This is the the same cube that we hide, and after you chose it from here, um, open the channel box here and sw switch here to the poly extrude phase one. Okay, this is the extrude function that we used in order to extrude the cube face to along this middle curve uh, that we created now scroll down to where it says twist okay and here you can type how much uh, evolutions you want to add of twisting like how much evolution of twisting you want to add to these objects but you're using the polycube in order to uh, make those two uh, pipes like uh, look like twisted so if I will type 360 here okay so you can see that both pipes have been like twisted uh, along to each other now you can add more evolutions to it so try 720 and if you want to go further, 2880, and uh, this is what you'll get. Okay, now um, the last thing you can do uh, is to catch this middle EP curve, okay, the circle, the circle one, and you can use the uh, scale tool in order to also scale them both okay so that way you have like some kind of marshmallow or 
uh, these ice cream we have today so that's it this is how you create this and um, it also can be used as for a rope or whatever um, you choose but uh, one last thing before I close this tutorial is whenever you like to move them okay like into this direction and you want to get rid of those so you delete them um, this is the better way to do it okay because uh, that way um, the curve won't interfere you anymore um, but if I will undo this and I will try to like um, move the curves uh, they will also uh, move the the mesh okay so this is not what we want and let's undo this and also if you will move any vertices points uh, you can see what what's happening to the mesh itself so uh, it's always better to uh, if you are happy with what you see here is to copy this move it to the side and get rid of the original pieces together with the curve and then you have it okay that's it this is it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed this and it was short and um, understandable okay and see you at the next tutorial if I will have time I will upload more tutorials uh, of any subjects I found and I will try to make them like shorter for you and easy to um, to create so that's it have a nice day we'll see you soon